Then to Abuja, where the rearrangement of former governor of Abia State, Senator Oju Zokalu, and two others slated for the 2nd of February has been moved to the 7th of June this year. This follows a request by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission to transfer the arraignment to Lagos, where the alleged offence was committed by the defendant. Correspondent Tijesu Adeoye reports. Former Abia State Governor and Chief Whip of the Nigerian Senate, Senator Oji Uzo Kalu, has not been let off the hook just yet over an alleged 7.1 billion naira fraud. The reopening of the case on Tuesday by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission is in obedience to the order made by the Supreme Court in his judgment of May last year. The presiding judge at the retrial is Justice Inyang Eko of the Federal High Court in Abuja. But the case has now been adjourned to a later date as the EFCC's counsel, Chile Okuruma, told the presiding judge that the anti-graft agency had written the chief judge of the Federal High Court, demanding that the trial be moved from Abuja to Lagos based on a Supreme Court judgment. The counsel told the court that the two letters dated 20th of January and 1st of February is yet to get the response of the chief judge and consequently applied for the matter to be adjourned indefinitely. Uh, I've said that applied to the London chief judge for the transfer of the matter to Lagos. And the chief judge has not taken a decision on that, for which reason the court has adjourned to some time in June. So, and the chief judge would have time to determine when the arrangement will take place. That's about all that happened. Recall that in December 2019, a federal high court judgment in Lagos convicted Senator Kalu and two others on a 27 count charge. But a judgment by the Supreme Court on the 8th of May 2020 quashed the trial, set aside their conviction, and ordered a retrial at the federal high court. The Senate Chief Whip's fate continues to hang in the balance. He was in court today when the presiding judge refused to grant a request that the matter be adjourned indefinitely. All parties are now required to appear in court on the 7th of June. Tijiswadi News, Abuja.